Well, they have made a name for themselves in the music business, but now local rappers Paul Wall and Baby Bash find themselves in the wrong spotlight. Both were arrested as police were serving a narcotics warrant. We're learning more about the circumstances behind their arrest. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. I'm Sarah Donchi. And I'm Keith Garvin. Those arrests happening early this morning in Northwest Houston. Police serving the warrants around 1230 this morning on Yale Street near Heights Boulevard. Channel 2's Samantha Pashkin live in the Heights where she's learning more about these arrests. And Sam, what can you tell us? Well, Sarah, the Houston rapper is out of jail this afternoon after posting a $20,000 bond. We've been here outside his Heights home for the past couple of hours, and we have not seen or heard from him since. But right behind me over here, you can see one of his neighbors showing their support for the rapper after this incident. He and fellow rapper Ronald Ray Bryant, better known as Baby Bash, were arrested early this morning at a shopping center on Yale Street right near Paul Wall's house. They were among 10 guys arrested there who were found to be in possession of the drug known as THC. Paul Wall and Baby Bash were both charged with manufacturing and delivering a controlled substance between four and 400 grams. The rapper's spokesperson is expected to address the media in just a little bit. We are hoping to have what she has to say coming up tonight at five and six. But in the meantime, we do know that Paul Wall is expected to appear in court on Tuesday. For now, reporting live from the Heights, Samantha Patashkin, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, Samantha. Thank you. And Paul Wall, as many of you know, has been a staple in the Houston community for the past decade. Wall is a Houston native. He graduated from Jersey Village High School and spent three years studying at the University of Houston. He started his rapping career with uh, Chameleon Air in 1999. In 2005, he released his first solo album, The People's Champ, which debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. He has appeared in several music videos and movies. We